Hey guys, I've got a little piece of music here that's uh, not very loud, either when it was uh, captured or recorded. And uh, When you open up an effect and make your settings in it like you like you like, you know, uh, it will hold the settings for you. Next time you open up, those same settings will be there. They won't change. And uh, as you can tell, the little spikes usually go out to the edge when it's got good clear clear sound to it. I mean, it's good and loud. And uh, I've got to get it more louder. So I open up Adobe uh, Edition, and uh, I'm going to show you what I do to uh, make it louder and still hold the, uh, the good quality of it. So stick around, and I'll show you. The first thing I do is I go up here to look for a parametric equalizer under Effects. And it is right... Oh, wait, wait, no, that ain't the first thing. I hold the control key down and hit A for all. That way it will it will work on all of this when you got all. So now I go up to effects down here. And these settings is the ones that I I like the best. You can pause the uh, video and and get these numbers down. But uh this this is everything I have it set at. Then I hit apply. Then I go back up here and I look for the Dynamics Processing. This one right here. And there, once again, you can look at the, uh, the number settings and where I've got it set at here. This is where I have it set at. And then I saved it to my name right here. That way, if, if, if it's off to another one somewhere, then I can always come back and uh, find the one I like. And uh, then I hit apply. And you can see it working. See how wider it's starting to get? And then I go up here and click on normalize. There it is. And uh, these are the settings I've got for that. This is where I've got it set at. And uh, just I, hit, I click apply. See it's getting brighter, it's getting wider. Multi band compressor, and uh, it is right here. And there again, these are the settings I've got it set at. And um, just copy them down, pause it, and copy it down if you like what you hear. Now hit apply, and you can see it working. See how much wider it got? And then I look for the hard limiter up here. And these are the settings. I got another screen on the other side, and this opens up over there, But so I drag it back over here. But uh, these are the settings I've got here. As you can see, the numbers right here. And uh, then I hit Apply. It's getting kind of wide there, but we're going to bring it back down some. Adapted no size reduction is what we're looking for now. Adapted noise reduction. And these are my settings for it right here. Now you may find that 
after you listen to it, you may like the way it sounds before you add all of these. You don't have to add all of these uh, effects to get what you're looking for. You really should just add one or two, get these spikes out here a little ways, you know, and then listen to it. If it's where you want, then that's all you need to add, and you can export it out of there. But um, these are all the ones I use. I'm just going to go through all of them anyhow. This one's taking a little longer. It's got a lot of work to do. Okay. And then I go back to the look for normalizer again. Same settings. I didn't change a thing. I just always leave them just like that. Hit apply. See how it's bringing it back down again? It's, it's making it a lot more rich. Now the next one I look for is stretch and pitch. Let's see here. And these are the settings I use for it. And the top one up here nope this is not it. Close it. Go back up there. I got the wrong one. I clicked on the top one here. This is it. This is it. Now this top one right up here, this slider here, will make it either slow down or speed up the voice right here. The bottom one down here will change the pitch of the voice. Uh, you can also just, you know, almost make somebody sound like a chipmunk or you could make them, a guy sound like a girl or a girl sound like a guy or, or anything. Just change, you can change it just a little bit. And, uh, so these are the settings I use here for that. And I hit apply. And it's really going to take some time. But it's working. You can see it. Well, you know where to look at. Percentage there. I might have to pause it and come back. And uh, this this audio track here is not very long, maybe if a couple minutes, but it's got a lot of adjusting to do to get it like the settings were or said. Wow, it took a while to get that one to run through. And then the last one I use its use is called delay. And uh, it is right here. And these are the settings I use for it, which you could change the, the settings as you you know and try out other stuff. But these are the ones that I use and I like the best. And I hit apply. And then I'm going to play a sample for you. Now, see, you could always go back and change the pitch on it if you want it a little bit faster than that. But this is fine for what I'm using it for. But as you can see, the spikes come all the way out to the edge, and it's full now. 
So, I mean, you can crank this sucker up, which I'll do, and then I'll turn down. So, here we go. I've got a kind of a country and western type video I got to use this on, some kind of hillbilly stuff. But uh, anyhow, guys, there you go. And I uh, hope this helped. And uh, tell people where you've seen it. If, and uh, if you like it, like it. And uh, if you subscribe, we'll stay in touch. Talk to you later. Bye. Uh -huh. You and the video and giving us a like or subscribing helps us to continue to want to try to bring a little bit of entertainment. Don't you agree? Thanks, buddy. See you later.